Begin by applying one shot primer black on all the engine parts. Airbrush in thin layers, covering all the raised and recessed details. The base color being applied is matte aluminum. The color should be applied in thin layers, covering the whole piece. With the enamel black wash and a liner brush, the wash is applied directly from the jar. Make sure that it reaches all the recessed areas and details and allow it to dry for approximately one hour. Using enamel odorless thinner and a round tipped brush, the excess product is easily removed. Observe how the piece gains in depth and detail. The dry brush technique is applied with Dio dry brush color light metal. The brush is unloaded onto a paper towel. By rubbing the surface, all the raised and recessed details are highlighted. The acrylic color for figures bluish gray was used to paint the crankcase. Pale yellow green was used to paint the motor's wiring. The next color red brown was used to paint the engine exhaust. Be sure not to forget the parts that must be painted separately. Again, the enamel black wash was used to outline the rest of the details. The same step was applied to the engine's exhaust. Next, a mixture of light rust pigment and enamel odorless thinners was applied directly to create irregular leaking and staining. Once dry, a very realistic effect has been created. The last effect applied to this example is the enamel color engine grime, applied using a toothpick to flick the effect from the brush. The authentic color was lightly splashed over the whole radial engine.